Thanks, Julie. Well, these days, doctors can tell a lot about your baby even before he or she is born. In fact, it may surprise you to find out how much you can learn from prenatal testing. Joining me now with some eight on your side answers is Dr. Jill. We appreciate you being here today. Thank you. You are an OBGYN, so you know all about this. But when we say non-invasive prenatal, prenatal test, what does that mean exactly? Essentially, it is a blood draw where it screens your blood from the mom to screen for syndromes like Down syndrome or other trisomies or severe chromosomal abnormalities. Which is a lot safer than when they used to draw fluid when we were pregnant with our kids. It is. So let me take you back. In the past, before they even got to that step, they would look at the mother's blood and test these markers in the blood to see if you were at risk for having a chromosomal abnormality. These tests, like the panorama test, actually looks at the mother's blood and differentiates between the mother's cells and the cells from the pregnancy. So it gives a much more accurate result. Therefore, decreasing the need for those needles in your belly tests. Because mm, that was which scary. Is, which is called the amniocentesis. And right. it can be scary and sometimes a little painful as well. All right, so when do these tests get performed? What, what stage of pregnancy? This is the other cool part. This can be done as early as nine weeks of pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes, let's say you're late to care or your ultrasound showed some abnormalities, your doctor might order this test at another time, but it can be done as early as nine weeks. And of course, the earlier you know, the more you have time to prepare and plan. All right, so who should get these tests? Anyone who's pregnant can actually ask for these tests. However, four years ago when they came out, they were recommending it only to high-risk women. So women like us, who had children later in life, over the age of 35, mm -hmm. where the risks of having abnormalities go up. Right. So, but anybody can ask for it. All right, and what happens if it comes back abnormal? Okay. Then so, what? Well, it does, it occasionally does. So when that happens, your doctor might recommend you talk to a genetic counselor and at that point, they're going to recommend that diagnostic test like the amniocentesis or something called the chorionic villus sampling, which is done a lot earlier in the first trimester because this test is done so early. Wow. But how far we've come, right? Look how far we've come. And Amazing. just a little perk, this test can be done and tell you the sex of the baby as early as nine weeks as well. Oh my goodness. Total perk. You barely know you're pregnant. Well, you that's, find out what that's it not is. why you do the test, but it's definitely a little perk. And well, a little right. side note, it is National Trisomy Awareness Month, the month of March. Right. So that's why I think this is kind of important to talk about these screening tests. All right. Very good. Good information. Thank you, Dr. Joe. Thank you. Back to you, Josh. All right.